Okay, here we are at Skin and Go of Jetty. We hope you're going to enjoy this visit. And um, we've got a few folks with us. Do you want to introduce yourself there, Peter? Uh, my name is Pete Russell, and uh, I'm a member of Mass Fisherman's Choir. And we're up here today to have a look at uh, the Skin and Go of Jetty. Along with. Uh, Hello there, I'm Parish Councillor Tom Evans. Hello, my name's Judith Findlay, and uh, my husband's Mike Findlay, uh, councillor for Redmond Cleveland Borough Council. And that's him there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now Barry was going to have the head cam on today, but we couldn't get the thing working, so he's going to use this camera here to take us on a journey down Skinny Grove Jetty. Now be careful, we don't want anybody falling off. Here you go, Barry. There we go. Everybody in view, make it happen. <laughs> this, uh, this jetty was once a working jetty and had plenty of life. Transported iron stone and everything and now it's just derelict, ugly piece of concrete on the Cleveland Way and it should be brought back into life. Uh, this is what we aim to do and we'll try and show you a little bit of it today because either side of the jetty are two beautiful beaches which is uh, in, the, in the distance there is uh, one of the Bowlby Cliffs it's one of the highest in England but we'll keep walking along and just seeing uh, As you approach uh, those walls over there Barry, you might want to point the camera out to sea as we go through there. Uh, yes, I think we're right. Yeah. 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 I'll just show a little bit of the other side when, of the... When you think the, the jetty was built over 100 years ago... Uh, wasn't it built of a special concrete, Tommy? Yes, special mixture it was, and uh, during the Second World War, even the marine engineers tried to blow part of it up because of the uh, threat of invasion, but even they couldn't, uh, couldn't do anything with it. Uh -huh. so, and it has definitely stood the test of time, but now it could do with a little bit of TLC, I'm afraid. Yeah. Did it have the... Uh Slag from the works in, involved in the concrete. Uh, With the concrete, yeah, yeah, it was a special mixture. It was molten slag run through cold water and then crushed and then mixed with cement. It's a unique mixture. It's, uh, it was, I think it was the first time it was ever done. Yeah. And as you can see by what's left of the jetty, it stood the test of time. Yeah, it could stand for another hundred years. Oh, no doubt. I think, I think it's such a beautiful area this as well yeah. it's just a shame that it's, it's going to waste when you think it's on the Cleveland Way yeah. and thousands of walkers walk just on the top of the cliffs and then down round here it's a sin for people to see it like this the fishing's brilliant here the fishing's brilliant they come from all over to fish but it's not allowed but they come from all over <laughs> yeah Just have a little look around out to sea, along the cliffs, along the beach. That's only one side of the beach. Wait till I show you the other. Absolutely fabulous. Here we're actually on the jetty now. Uh, these are the old walls, and uh, we'll come along where the old railway lines went. There's pipes on the top. This also, I mean, counts for uh, a bit of sea defence. And they're talking about now defending from the, the water, eroding and everything. This basically protects Skinning Grove as well. So it needs brought up to standard. Uh, as you've already said there, Barry, about sea and coastal defence. 
this, this jetty has saved Skinner Grove time and time again, particularly in 1953 when all the northeast coast was flooded and the coast of Holland and many lives were lost. And Skinner Grove more or less come away unscathed. So just another reason why we really need it, Tommy. It's, I, would, I would think it ticks all the boxes, what the tourism down to sea and coast of defence. This just shows you how much damage has been done to it. Now tell me, look at that. One of the most environmentally friendly beaches you'll find on the northeast coast. Beautiful. And this is stuck in the middle of it. What a perfect view, what we call the double cliff. Steep in history, the old Allen uh, mines, and in the far distance leading on to Cleveland Potter. Uh, and when you think uh, there was three boats used to harbour up in here to take out Ironstone. Yeah. Uh, Take pig iron. Pig iron. Yeah. And where, where was that sent out, Tommy? It, was, it went all over the world. Uh, there was Skinny Grove, the North Gate, the Ummersee, and the Cabin. And it's, it's said that the Skinny Grove, although 80 up to 100 years old, was still on the go. In some other country somewhere? Yeah, some other country that had been renamed. These are the old railway lines that used to bring the... There was cranes on here as well. You can, you can imagine people come here from Whitby and Stays and all that on the boat, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. There. Yeah. And then, brilliant, brilliant, wasn't it? And then be taken up to the mining museum yeah, yeah, yeah. and see the history we've got in Skinning Grove is, uh, is phenomenal. Where's that to from? We'd be in back by boat. Well, that's not a bad trip, is it? Let's see your nice days. Yeah. You're very close to the edge there. Oh, my husband's to the edge. Here we are coming near enough to the. Uh, we'll take you around the end of the jetty where it is really. This is. Uh, I'll just show you inside the old. Inside the jetty where there was a pump in. It's quite dark, I don't know. Uh, you, might not, you might not get the view, but we'll go around the outside anyway and have a look around the other side. But this is down into there, where the, at the end of the jetty where there was pumping station. Here we are at the dodgy bit now. Yeah, be careful on this end. Now fishermen still come here to fish all the time. They're not allowed to, but they get on here, and they'll always will get on here, because you can't keep them off. And it's such good fishing. So why not have the end done round and have fishing competitions and fishing people coming from all over England. Really? So, you know, just no sense why not to. And at the end of the day, we're talking about putting turbines, water turbines, in the jetty, in, in the base of it, and that would create wave, would create the electricity.
for the village and around, around the area. There's another common sense thing. It just needs someone to get the backsides off and listen to us. And Mike's one of our main things going to help us. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's sacrilege, isn't it? You yes. Know? I mean, all yeah. this beauty, all this heritage and all that, and people aren't coming to see it. Yeah. I mean, as someone just said, I mean, the four-hour round trip from Whitby, I mean, people can come here, you know, have a nice trip in, and, and uh, go to see the cafe, they can go to see the mining museum, yeah. everything. Well, a, a lot of people who go to Whitby for the holidays yeah. come from mining villages like That's in right. Doncaster and towns and yeah. things. So... so they would be interested in coming along yeah. the coast and having a day on the sea and into a little village. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. Do you want to say a word to your, all your loyal fans before we shut down, Barry? Well, it's about time someone got off the backside and let's move on because this is a worthwhile project and this place is full of history. The Jetty Hits is history. And I'm sure if people are aware of it all over the country, we'll get some support, European support as well. There's someone out there could help us, and I'm sure someone out there will. And I'm begging for a bit of help. Thank you.